Once you've got the Eclipse Shadow Simulator up and open, and again, you may need to go watch the tutorial about allowing flash in order to get that to work, it's going to look something like this. I want to give you just a brief introduction for how you're going to use this interactive. And in this particular interactive, you're allowed to move the Earth, which is shown as the big blue ball, and the moon, which is shown as the smaller gray ball. This is your sun over here. And these are your shadows of the two objects. In one part, you're asked to move them closer or further and describe what's happening. And then you're also to describe how you're going to move things around. And the instructions are in the lab. Remember, the moon orbits around the Earth. And when you do that, it's going to ask you to create the alignment you would need in order to get a solar eclipse and a lunar eclipse. And then you're going to take a screenshot of this and attach it to your lab. If you have any questions about how to use this simulation or whether or not your screenshot is working properly, here's what I'm asking for. Go ahead and send me a message and send me the image if you've got one and I can let you know if it's looking like that's what you're supposed to be doing. Again, if you have any questions, contact me.